walkers all around your house. Blue unit's gonna get into position. Any some cover here, Dunny. Smoke the door. We got a fire. This will be our next customer right here. Please, please. They decide to hurt themselves. Well, I want to see a search one. You're not going to, because there isn't one. Why are you stopping? I mean, you drove up to it. You crashed. Right now, you're under arrest for being an idiot, OK? Mind, we don't need to be on the news. The most people that we're dealing with tonight are like yourself. You're very pro-police. This program contains actual police footage. No reporters, no recreations. We are responding uh, to a complaint of shots fired in the basement suite of a home on Drive. So we're... Uh, okay, 5 Charlie, 5 one. Let's uh, have the units move uh, in right up to within one house of the target residence, and we'll take it from there. Six two, five two. Six two, five five two, four seven. Five Charlie five one. Confirm the address for me again. Zero Commercial Street. It's in the basement. Uh, ten four. Uh, we have uh, three units at the front. We'll need some units at the rear. Unit for the rear. Two Charlie one four one in the rear. Ten three eleven is going to the rear. <clears throat> ten four five Charlie one four is in the rear. Five Charlie eleven is going to the rear. Six echo eleven is at the rear. Ten four six echo eleven. Okay, five Charlie five one. Copy that. Uh, have we got a uh, phone line with anybody inside? We still have the complainant on. Uh, 5 Charlie 11, code 4. Go ahead. 4 7 and Beechers are taken. Two down now. They're wearing a foot. They're half dressed. One's got a red shirt. 4 7 and Beechers. 10 4 units to cover. Okay. 10 4. 5 Charlie 5 1. I want the units that are on the house to stay on the house. The units on the house stay on the house. Yeah, 5 Charlie 5 1. If we can get a Zulu unit uh, to the front of the place, a couple, uh, and when we've got containment, then uh, they can move in. Zulu 2 2 will go to the front. 10 4 Zulu 2 2 to the front. Zulu 21 will go to the rear. 10 4 Zulu 2 1 to the rear. We're going to have to make an entry here. We got screaming from the house. Okay. Okay. Just a minute. Let's... Okay. Smoke the door. Okay, we're in. Okay. Okay, you cover me there, okay? Okay, I need some cover here. Okay, I need some cover here, Donnie. Okay, is there somebody in the suite? I don't know which door it is. Yeah. They get in. Okay, away we go. Oh. Okay, some police. Get back upstairs. Get back upstairs. Go upstairs. Go upstairs. Stay there. Okay. Yeah, I'm fine. I'm covering you. Okay. Okay. Okay, one more door here. Hold on. It opens out. It's no good. Okay. Well, I don't know which way this one goes. There we go. Okay, this is it. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Okay. 
the police. It's the police. Okay, where is it? It's kids here. We got kids here. That's okay. Where, where's the guy that's been hit? Okay, you're just gonna put the kids out here? Yeah. Okay, all right. Here, come on, follow me through here. Hello, guys. There we are. Bye, Mommy. Bye, Mommy. The children are living in unsafe circumstances here uh, because the parents are uh, drunk and intoxicated all the time and they're extremely violent towards each other. So we've apprehended the children. Uh, this is the type of circumstances they're living in here, living on an air mattress and clothes and dirt and filth all around. This is the, uh, the bedroom here, uh, again, from one of the children. This is the kind of squalor these kids have been living in here. The children will be uh, apprehended and then there'll be a hearing with the uh, mother as to whether or not she's fit uh, to have uh, them brought back to her. But um, that'll happen in a few days. I guess the complainant upstairs heard what he thought was shots fired and screaming. We've been here numerous times, and um, so it, that's how the complaint came in. He thought there was shots fired because there was a bunch of screaming. What it exactly was, I don't know. The female downstairs stabbed one of the males. So when we came and set up on the front of the place, um, she all of a sudden let out a scream. Uh, we didn't know what it was for, so we forced entry. Uh, the team was here, so we went in behind the team and found the four children and the woman in the living room downstairs. Mm -hmm. uh, they at uh, first uh, seem okay. We're going to have to apprehend the children because uh, she's very inebriated and we've dealt with her a lot of times. She's very uncooperative. Okay. Here, are you a good girl? Oh, no. No. Just relax oh, yourself, okay? Okay. okay? okay, okay, step up there, okay? There you go. Have a seat, watch your head. Okay, what, what's, what does he say happened? Uh, the woman there is arguing with, a, with her boyfriend or yeah. husband, her old yeah. man anyway. Yeah. They're all gonna go out to his girlfriend's place. The old lady gets pissed off, stabs the old man. Okay. He takes the knife off her. Him and the, the woman and this guy are coming out the alley with the, the guy who's been stabbed. The woman passes out, they can't pick her up and carry her, so they leave her in the alley. Okay. He and his brother start fighting out here. Yeah, okay. And the third guy buggers off. Okay, all right. Well, this the, one of these has a no-go to this residence. Yeah, that I one think over there. That one over there, yeah. okay. Because I've been here before. Yeah. All right, now, we do we know where the stabby went? He buggered off up that way. Okay, all right, good enough. <coughs> yeah, but, I, I, but I, all I'm asking for is a phone off statement. That's all. Hey, see, I need a phone off statement because I'm not guilty on this. Yeah, I understood that, but but I mean, I asked her if, because she said, will you come over? And I said, okay, I'll be over. And then I, I went over there and I asked her, well, what about the restrictions? She said, I try to get it lifted. They won't do it, but I'm doing this. That was, my... that was your cue to know that the court still said, don't left. go there. I left. You were there. I think I didn't. She, told, she invited me over, though. He's going okay. he's you going need in. the permission of the court to, before I, I, you can I go back. I, can, I don't know what's happening out there. Okay. Okay. They the did. No, they didn't. You signed a probation order no, when you were released. Yeah, the probation but, order but they said, didn't, don't go there. But they didn't give me the understanding that she could invite me over without me knowing. I mean, okay, wagon's here. Stand up. Here for hours. One, two, three. Yep. You can get it. You can get to uh, 86. Yeah, they're on their way here. They can do all that. It'd be no problem at all. She's going to jail too. Okay. All right, she's going to jail. All right. Jim. No. No. I'm going to. Uh, Jimmy. She's going to jail too. Okay. I know. I know. 
Yeah, I have a slide. Where do you have the side or the back? We got two in there. Yeah. Drag him up, put him in here, I'm put her in the side. Jail. Yeah, she's going to jail. No, I'm not. No, I'm not. No, I'm not. You can play with your brother. You're not going to these guys are the best of friends normally when they're not trying to kill each other. Do we know who was fighting with who, like which guy and which one? Well, we've been here before, and uh, the two males uh, usually fight uh, with the uh, with the one female. That's how it usually goes uh, when I've been here before. So. That's, I think that was happening. It's more as the brother of the, uh, the woman inside the house fights with her husband, and then uh, she participates in it as well. It's, uh, it's a really complicated mess, actually. <laughs> and how's the woman that was uh, on the ground? How did she fit into the situation? She is the girlfriend of the brother, and uh, she was involved in the fighting as well, and she's extremely intoxicated and uncooperative, so uh, we're going to take her away until she sobers up. When we contained the house initially, uh, some males had left prior to our arrival at the back door. For some reason, the woman who was in here with the children uh, let out a scream, and uh, we had to force entry through the door here because uh, the original call was that there had been a woman shot or somebody had been shot here. So uh, we forced entry and went in the door this way, and uh, we had our emergency response team with us. Uh, they actually led the way, and with them, we forced our way into the suite and uh, found the children and the mother, and uh, they were OK, basically. They were unhurt. At this point in time, uh, we have uh, three adults in jail, two adults in custody, and uh, three, not four, children apprehended. And uh, I don't really think there's going to wind up with any charges against anybody that'll go to court. So the real victims in all this are these uh, these kids. And uh, anyway, hopefully the uh, social workers will be able to do something for them, get them straightened out. Yeah, we're just covering uh, another officer who ran a vehicle, the vehicle's BC plate number, and found out that the plate was. Uh, pointer vehicle to a certain type and color and the vehicle that uh, he's following with that plate did not uh, match the description so we're just going to check it out see if everything's in order uh, maybe there's some misuse of plates or possibly some stolen vehicle they're just going to check into it and see what's going on so all this ID yours huh let me all the ID here yours yeah because there's a couple of different names on here mm -hmm. Who's this person? Din Yin. Who's that? Oh, I forgot. I, just, I, I think this is my, my friend. What are you doing with this person's ID? Huh? That, that's Ben. That's what? That's Ben. And who's this? John A. P. Who's John, that? John Lee. That's not me. That's you? Yeah. Welcome here, it's Chen Li Si. Yeah, this is my Chinese name. John, this is my English John name. John is your English name? Yeah. Got a gun. Got a gun? Yep. Let's see if it looks like a uh, Smith & Wesson right now. Loaded. It's 40 cal. Yep. One chamber. Can we get uh, five uh, Echo Five One to this location? Five Echo Five One. We've nine just nine been one. conducting a search of this vehicle. We found a uh, a large amount of cash and a um, a loaded firearm. At this point, it looks like it's a. Uh, an Astro yeah, model on on 90, on. and the uh, caliber of the bullet is going to be a, uh, a 45 auto. The weapon is safe now, and we have a supervisor en route. So we're just going to continue the search. Put this in a safe area. Two guns. Got a 9mm uh, Walter PPK. 
It's a little more difficult to search. It's loaded as well. How long have you been in Canada? Uh, about 10 years. 10 years? Yeah. Any explanation as to why you have all this money on you? Okay. Any reason why you have all this money? Huh? Oh, this is uh... a... It's like thousand dollar bills in here, too. Yeah, he's got, he's probably got about another uh, 10, at least 10,000 bills over there. How do you pop the hood? How do you pop your hood? Once it's up, how do you, underneath? Deemed uh, some form of consensual search. It's a bit of a language barrier. Um, I conduct a search. Initially, find uh, a large amount of cash, approximately twenty thousand dollars, in um, in the rear uh, passenger compartment underneath the uh, passenger seat. Take that out. Um, continue with the search, and then find uh, two loaded handguns in the um, glove box in a brown purse. And uh, here they are over here. They've been safe. They're safe. They were loaded. They were. Uh, there was also a round chambered, and they were um, both on single action to fire. Uh, we safety's off. One's at 45. And one's at 9 mil. I run the serial numbers yet, and uh, apparently he's associated to um, mid-level heroin traffickers. We haven't found any drugs yet, and uh, Tony's doing his secondary now. Okay, so that's where we stand. What's he said to you? Um, he hasn't made any statements. He's uh, all of a sudden having problems with all of a sudden minutes, having minutes, minutes, problems. Yeah. Okay. So, Tony, what led you to stop this guy? I was following the vehicle on uh, East 12th there and just ran the plate just for interest. And it came back that the vehicle was a pointer vehicle or the person in it was associated to somebody and for that reason he was a pointer vehicle. And the plates came back to an 88 Honda Black, and they're on a vehicle right now, a BMW and 535i. So at that point, I decided that it was worth a check. Yeah, as we, we heard that, we came barreling down to see what was going on. And you guys started searching, and so you guys uh, found, found all the stuff in the back seat or the front seat? I believe uh, the money was uh, underneath the back seat, and the guns were found in the glove compartment in a brown satchel type thing. Both loaded? Yep, both were loaded. One was ready to go from the sounds of it. Had a bullet in the barrel ready to go. Yeah. Well, as soon as, uh, as, soon as my partner told me about that, I immediately uh, advised him of his arrest and charter. And geez, originally he was speaking very good English to me, and then he sort of forgot his English at that point. So we're going to try to arrange for a Cantonese-speaking uh, police officer to come down and advise him of all his rights. So we wouldn't want him to, uh, wouldn't want him to be uh, abused of his rights in any way. Not at all, not at all. Well, it looks like he's got at least, probably about excess of $20,000 on him anyway, so. Yeah, four grand in his wallet, just in case for emergency. Is there four in the wallet? Four grand, at least. Is Three. Is the wagon out there? Yep. Sure. Yeah. So not stand around with guns and money. He's been searched completely? That he has. Yep. Did you get under the hood? Yeah. Any new car, it's all plastic and pipes. <laughs> what about wheel wells? What's that? What about wheel wells? Uh, no, I haven't. Uh. Okay, what's going to happen now is we're going to be seizing all the money and the weapons found. We're going to be sending them to the, uh, the analysis labs uh, through the RCMP, and we're going to be checking to see if there's any, uh, any prints or any further investigation involving this, uh, this situation. If we do find that their money is uh, as a result of the proceeds of crime, then the money will be kept and seized and dealt with through the court systems. However, if it, does, if it is found that uh, they are not connected to any crime, uh, the money could technically be uh, given back to the person found with the money. However, uh, the male was uh, carrying two loaded guns with, uh, with loaded ammunition in the barrel, and uh, he will be charged for the restricted weapons and careless storage. So either way, he is going in for a criminal act uh, in Canada. So uh, he'll deal with that at first, and hopefully uh, through further investigation, he'll have to do with, uh, deal with uh, 
the fact of all this money in his possession, for what reason, we don't know at this moment. Um, we're responding to uh, what appears to be a knife fight on the street right now. That one or two males are chasing a third. Um, one of the guys doing the chasing right now has a knife in his hand. We don't really know if there's any injuries so far. Um, there's a dog unit responding from about a block away, so he's going to back us up. Oh, that's probably the guys on the corner right there. The dog man's just pulling up here with us. We'll just get out and get him to show us their hand. Everyone stop right there. Don't move. Shut up. And don't move. This guy in the green on the grass has just thrown something down. I don't know what they've got. It's the star keys. Star keys. Yeah, he's down there. Okay. Stand still. Don't move. Keep your hands up. Up. Yeah, you know what to do. On your back. Stand still. Don't move. He said like five years. He said like. Quiet. He put the outside. Stand on your knees. Get down. Yeah. Get down. On your knees. Oh. Jeez. What do you got in your pockets? On your knees. I don't want you on the ground. Just kneel down. There. Stay. Right there. This guy's been stabbed. Ah, uh, yeah. Make it routine, though. What part of the body they're going to ask? Where's his stab? Uh, left shoulder blade. Left shoulder blade. And the nose, too, I guess. It's cut up. Can you come here, though? No, uh... Okay, wait. Wait, not now. Not now. No, now, you come. It's not going to be too high. No. You find me. You take light. Gwaine, can you take him away so I can talk to the victim? Because I think this is the guy that did the stabbing. I, I, he won't shut up. Be high. Be high. No, how? Be high. No, how? You come. Who cut the guy in the white undershirt? I don't know. I, no idea? I couldn't see him. Well, at what point did he suddenly appear with blood on him? Uh, somewhere in the house when they're throwing the bowls and stuff, it broke. Well, because he wasn't hit with a bowl. He's got a puncture wound in his back. Because, like, uh, I ran out of me and my sisters and friend. We were playing cards in there, like, running in the face, trying to make us funny. Heard him, like, uh, fighting, and then we ran out, and then my dad had a bleeding nose. This is your dad behind us? Yeah. On the ground? The white tank top. So you have, you have no you have no idea when, when he got cut? Nope. Well, I mean, it must have been some point when you were running around out here. Yes. Do you have ID on you? Identification? No. That's the marker. No marker. I just want to do a bit better search on this guy. He's got blood in all sorts of little places. Thanks. What's your dad? What's your dad's first name? Chio. Sorry. C H I E W. How do you how do you pronounce it? Chio. Chio. Yeah. Chio. Chio. Yeah. Who cut you? Who? Oh, he. He did. Yeah. He find me. He he stick you. Yeah. Okay. Maybe you just want to come over here and help me translate. I just want to get the story here. Ask him who, who stuck him in the back and in the nose with the knife. I I cut both movie way vào bố có bị đâm vào lưng không? Có. Chú không có. Chú không phải không? Okay. He cut him. This guy over here. Yeah. Can you just ask him what what happened? Why why was he stabbed? Because they're drunk and stuff. Like they're fighting over um, playing chess and um. Yeah. Wait 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 wait. I need to hear the story. Oh, okay. You want it, like the beginning to the end? Well, just give me a quick rundown, and we'll go into it in a little more detail later. Okay. So, like, they're playing chess upstairs, drinking beer and betting. Yeah. And then all of a sudden, well, I heard um, he slapped my dad, right? Like, okay, this guy I, slapped your dad. Yeah, I went outside, ran, I go, what happened? And he slapped my dad, and then I 
he started running, he ran onto the kitchen, he was just standing right there, right? And my dad got mad, so he's like, wanna... So they were he, fighting each other? No, he wanted, my dad wanted to beat him up, right? Yeah. Because he hit him in the face, and the guy just standing right there, he said, oh, Fana, come on, just fight, I'll fight you. I'll fight you, right? Okay. He wouldn't go up with, like, my mom, me, and my sisters telling him to go. He go, come on, just go. Don't want to cause any trouble, right? And he just pick up the ball. I'm ready. Come on, okay. let's go. Get, okay, who? Ball, so. Can you ask him where the knife came from? Did he have it in his pocket, or did he pick it off a table? His knife. This guy that yeah, had the knife. Yeah, like I couldn't stop him because like. Uh, no, I know, but can can you ask your dad where did this guy get the knife? He got from his van. He went and ran in his his van. Right there. He, uh, okay, it was in the van. He opened the door, he ran, he closed the door, he come out, I was like, I thought he was gonna stay there, lock the door, but then he came out with a knife, chased my dad. Like, okay. I put, okay, okay. Hard to, uh, As it seems right now, there was some kind of a, a gambling party in this house here at 1026 East 11th, and uh, some kind of fight broke out between the fellow in, we just put in the back of the wagon and the fellow in the white t-shirt sitting on the ground. Um, at some point, the guy in the wagon ran to his van here on the street and uh, grabbed a knife and stabbed this guy in the nose and in the uh, shoulder blade. Who's, uh, who's got the knife right now? Okay, because the uh, EHS wants to have a look at the blade. And... It's right there. Here's what... Uh... Okay. Oh, great knife. Nice. Nice, well, sh stay sharp. This knife was located by the dog master under one of the vehicles over here after the victim's son said the uh, suspect threw it under there sometime in the middle of the fight. Right now, the uh, ambulance attendants are looking at the stab wound on his back, trying to determine whether he needs to go to the hospital to get it stitched or not. Just tell him. Tell him that he should go in and get a tetanus shot, okay? Because he's been cut and the knife wasn't very clean. So he's gonna have to go in and get a tetanus shot. Okay, he doesn't have to go right now, but he should go within the next 24 hours and get a tetanus shot. We've bandaged him up and everything will be fine with his wounds, but he has to get a tetanus shot, okay? Okay. have Okay. All right. Okay, you take care. All right. So, for the time being, why don't you send your dad inside, okay? And I'm going to take a bit of a statement from you, okay? Because he's looking kind of cold. Okay, so you just ask him to, to head inside then? Thank you very much. Okay. It appears as though the stuff we got here um, was used in the assault. These pieces here formed a longer piece at one point, and the fellow we've arrested for assault with a weapon used them to beat the victim. It seems as right now as though after he, he broke this pipe, he went to his van, grabbed the knife, and attacked the victim again. And at some point, the victim acquired this shower curtain rod and uh, tried to defend himself. Uh, he was obviously unsuccessful because he received two stab wounds, one in the back and one of the nose. So what we're doing right now is we're going to interview the victim's son, take a brief statement about what happened. Um, the suspect has gone down to jail. He's going to be held in, over the weekend for assault with a weapon. And we'll get the detective office to follow up with the victim on Monday because he's fairly intoxicated right now. So as it stands, we've just got the one in custody. Come here, come here, come here, come here. Come here and talk to me then. Oh, the guys who hit the ready. It's okay. Mike, what am I supposed to do? What are, you, what are we supposed to do? <laughs> There's like a ton of them in there. What are we doing? Who punched you? Do you guys know who did it? Curly hair no. and brown eyes. <laughs> oh, okay. Was it this guy that just went walking in? No. No. He was trying to help the us. The man. Let's run this place. It's got no attitude. It's all the f***ing rest of them they got dead. So do you have any idea who hit you? No. They all look the same right now. Why did they hit you? I don't know why I either. have absolutely no idea. I'm just standing there. Cat bam, white bitch with an attitude because I stood up. I don't know because I believe in myself. Like, don't treat me. I don't know, Pat. I don't know. 
I really don't know. He just split my lip. And I oh, pissed man. off. And I go right back in because. I don't deserve to be treated this way. I'm a motherfucking too. I went out tonight for a drink and I thought they'd smack me. What? I don't deserve this shit. And why I lie? Buddy, who smacked the girl? It's a good question, but I'm trying to find it out myself. Partner, you take everybody outside then so I can idea. Well, I did, you get everybody out on the front lawn here. No, man. Yeah. Let me get everybody out. Hey, we'll get a warrant to come and take my I don't need a warrant. You know why? Hey, take the camera off me, man. I'm no star. What's Listen, wrong with you? Look at me. What's your first name? Junior. Junior. You, I don't need a warrant, Junior. You don't need a warrant for what? To go I to my house? That's right. Not now, because I got a criminal offense that's just been committed, and she's just walked the out with blood the, the, the in her The first that, that's five, they left long ago. They were no, fight outside. She says you're still inside. No, that's her word against mine. No, but it's not. I know. It doesn't matter. I'm not yeah, part of it does matter. Because you're a booze cannon, we're going to shut you down, Junior. Okay, you ready to do tonight? Yeah. Where's the warrant? I don't need a warrant right now, Junior, because I just drove in here at the right time, pal. Man, listen, man. Two people got to go fight their friends. They came I don't together care. and left already. What's I don't about? care if 100 people got in a fight or if one person got in a fight, Junior. Now we have a criminal offense that's just been committed on your property. There's no criminal offense on my property. Yes, it is, it's, man. The fight was right there. And you know what? The fight she's was right there. No, it's not. She said it's inside and she's this, making a complaint, Junior. She's drunk and she said, she's saying something and you know what? like that. Junior, listen. right now, I believe her. You believe her? Yeah. Well, the fight was right there, man. No. Nope. You know what I'm saying? Junior, so bring everybody out, or you bring out the person who's the head of right now. Yeah, there is, Junior. You start bringing them out, pal. Whoever I can hit the girl, I can come outside right fucking now, and I'll fucking chew your ass. Whoever the fuck hit the girl. Son of a bitch. Okay, Someone that's... just hit my fucking wife that's, in that's a fucking what, that's face. That's what we're trying to find out right now, okay? Well, let's go in there and find out. It's a guy with a hat. Will you come? Can we go in? Can I come in with you? No. It's a guy with a hat. There are too many guys with hats on in there right now. No, I can't be quiet. My wife is bleeding right now because some fucking idiot hit her. Hey, I'm sober here. I just want to. You were in there. The disturbance has already been happening. Talk to everybody. You be put yourself in my shoes. Put your well. Let's go and see. Let's arrest this guy because I want to press charges. Let's go get him. I'm not your enemy, friend. He came here. Oh, I got the shit kicked out of you for no reason. What's going Freddy, man. For no so reason. Just man. Just Fuck you. Who knows who it is? Fuck you. I don't know. Calm down. Who passed off? Calm down, man. Hit me. Come on. Come. Shay. Yo, I'm going to go to the bottom line. I'm going to go to the bottom line. Hurry up. Let's go, partner. They're leaning. Let's go. I'm waiting for my right Get out there. Let's go. 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 let I don't know you either. Let's go. Out there. So get out there. Put the beer down and get out. Let's go. Put the beer down and get out. You have a problem understanding? Let's go. Yo, don't stop that. Don't push that. Don't push that. That's my team. Okay, so who, which, which one of these guys hit you? She doesn't know. Who punched you? Because I was in some a crowd, guys. Oh, five or four. Four. I found oh, out five someone people. hit her, so I went up and I'm saying, who the hell hit the girl? Whoever hit the girl, come out here and I'll deal with you. And the next thing you know, I had some big fucking monkey guy just fucking slam me. I swung over, cat me, and went
but no idea who they look like, eh? I wasn't there. Nails are in the head. He's a guy. Some, I know. Some guy. I mean, he didn't understand my attitude. My attitude was. I go to stand up for her, you are and somebody nails me in the head. It's like, no. Hey. Let it go. Catch it. You can bitch call people mice. I got her. I've been more than nice with you so far, okay? Yeah, but have you been fucking raped yet? Have you? I've been arrested for it. I've been punched in the face. I've been arrested for it. You would have left quietly. Yeah, all right. No fucking problem. You Come on. Listen. Yeah. Steve, don't put her in line. Okay, so yeah. Oh, man. I'm fucking sure you would've. Okay, I'm fucking sure This is um, yeah, the well-known uh, party house here in Burnaby, and uh, after the clubs close, always collects a, a large clientele, and we come down uh, and usually try to make sure there's no problem, and if there is, take care of it, clean it out, and, Tonight we just happened to be pulling in as there's a young girl outside screaming and complaining and arguing that she was uh, punched in the mouth by somebody inside and she couldn't give us a description and didn't know who had done it. So we uh, basically had them all come out. She got to take a look around and didn't recognize anybody. We couldn't pick anybody out. So as a result, uh, the party was over. They've all departed now, and uh, that'll be it for this party house for the night. Two people that did get taken away got uh, taken away for drunken public, and they'll be released in the morning. What we've got is a unit requesting cover. We're not sure what's going on right now. Plainclothes members were attending some sort of domestic dispute, and uh, it sounds like they're fighting with the uh, with one of the parties right now. Something the buzz is in. Yeah. <coughs> 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 Took him out to the to the car for you. Um, Whatever. I think we're uh, <laughs> put we him on the bed here, or on the clock here. <coughs> a partner and I can walk him up for you. No problem. He's going to. Okay. Oh, uh, okay. Mark this door. Yep. Here we go. He's coming through. <laughs> Try 
Take them over. Sure. And one of us will ride with them. Okay. And uh Do you wanna throw that in your trunk? It's like Yeah, I'll hang on to Is uh Dean going up to the hospital as well? Hmm? Is Dean gone up there as well? No, Dean's upstairs doing something. Okay. Breathing garbage. I wonder if he should okay. come with us. Also. Yeah. He probably should. Yeah. Okay, well, if that runs too quickly, just tell me and we'll slow it down a bit. Is it getting too drowned in you? Well, I'll let you know when my okay. gills are overflowing. Yeah, when they're full. I need dry clothes. I mean, the stuff is drinkable, though. It doesn't really <laughs> It should be a pool. Okay. Can I be pool then? Yes. Can you be okay? Oh, yeah. Okay. Who's my partner? You. Uh, we met on the last call. Yeah, we met on the last call. Yeah. Yeah. Was that your friendly call? Yeah. <laughs> what happened up there, anyways? Uh, this, this guy's just a... Uh, Cocaine-induced, um, psychotic, and he attacked my partner and I, and we pepper sprayed him. But in the confusion, we both suffered the results of the pepper spray as well. Okay. It seems to bother us more than the crooks. Okay. Did, did the pepper spray have any effect? No, it had no effect on him at all. It didn't work at all. No. <laughs> Where are you coming from? The liquor store. The liquor store? Yes, sir. Okay. Can I see your driver's license or registration, please? Sure can. That'd be great. Is this your bike? This is my bike. Great. Thank you. Why did you pull me over? Oh, well, you're uh, weaving back and forth along the laneway here, along the That's street. Me. I have an oversized woman on the back of my bike. You have an oversized woman on the back of your bike? Vance, you could be dateless. Vance, if you're not careful. Yes, sir. I could be in trouble later. <laughs> have you had anything to drink tonight, Vince? I've had a couple of drinks, yeah. Yeah, I think you probably have. Yeah. Okay, your uh, headlight's defective as well, eh? It's bobbing and, yeah, it's bobbing and weaving all over the road. You know, it's, it's, not, it's not stable on it's the bike. It's secure? Yeah, that's right. All right. Okay, so that's another reason why as well. Um, how much do you have to drink tonight, Vince? Probably about three or four coolers. Three or four coolers? Yes, sir. I'd be willing to gamble you had more than three or four coolers, Vince. Well, that's your opinion against mine. Yeah? Well, I don't want to push the point, but... You don't want to push no, it? No, actually, he didn't have more than that. He was driving me, and he was doing me a favor. He was, eh? Yeah. You guys live together, or...? No, he's friends of my common-laws. Friends of your common-law? Yeah. And I was good, and I knew that. Yeah. So I was riding. He was doing me a favor. I'm going to suspend your license for 24 hours, okay? Because I don't think you should be riding. I'd appreciate that. Yeah, thanks a lot. Thank you. Okay. Can you tell me how far I'm away, I'm away from Rosewood and Canada Way? You can walk to Rosewood and Canada Way from can here. Can push my bike there? Yeah, you could probably push it there. All right. All right, here, let me just read something to you, okay? I have reasonable probable grounds to believe that uh, your ability to drive a motor vehicle is affected by alcohol, and I uh, therefore direct you to surrender your driver's license. You're now prohibited from driving a motor vehicle for a period of 24 hours from this time and date. Are you going to carry the booze for him, or what? I didn't really want to. You don't? No. Somebody's got it. Are you just going to leave the bike here, Vince? I don't think so. Probably. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> get, get a tow truck to come back. It's up to you. OK, Vince, start huffing, buddy. Get the bike out of here. Yeah, well. well, no wonder you're all over the place. Look at you sitting on your fender. Hey, it's a, this is a $13,000 Milwaukee vibrator for myself. I don't care what the other person feels like. <laughs> <laughs> I'll see ya. He was weaving back and forth along the road, and he um, uh, had a passenger aboard there, 
and uh, as it turned out, uh, when I pulled him over, he'd had a few to drink, uh, not enough for uh, an impaired charge, but uh, enough to suspend his license for 24 hours.